Hello, I'm Miles Tails Prower. We will learn about water physics, part 3. Part 3, Refractive Index of Water. Recall that you have learned about refractive indices of medium, based on the optical physics. The refractive index of air is 1, and the water is 1.33 respectively. On the surface, the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. For about refraction, the angle deviates. Therefore, the angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction. What you can follow is the Snell's law, taking N1 be the refractive index of air, and N2 be the refractive index of water. The formula you can recall is N1 sine theta 1 equal to N2 sine theta 2. For example, if sine theta 1 is equal to 45 degrees, then what will be its second angle, but you'll obtain the inverse sine value. When you solve, we get theta 2 equal to 32.1 degrees, and is also equal to inverse sine of 0.532, which is the refracted angle. Additionally, let's put a third medium in the water N3, say, refractive index of a diamond, but please don't get confused with the chaos emerald, that generates tremendous amounts of energy. The refractive index of diamond is 2.42. Using the same formula, we find out the third angle since theta 2 is 32.1 degrees. When you solve, we get the third angle 17 degrees and is equal to inverse sine 0.295. As soon as the angle is refracted many times, it then decreases roughly half times. So, these three refractive indices you've learned about, and the three angles, smaller the angle, more will be refraction. This video is about refractive index of a water. Like, comment, and subscribe now.